Hello everyone, this is Paul with Landis Technologies. I'm here with Clayton. Hello. Today we are going to talk about Landis Contact Center for Microsoft Teams and more specifically how easy it is to set up a new organization of Contact Center uh, inside of Teams. We have spent a lot of time and attention to make sure this is as easy as possible. So often contact centers can be clunky to set up, a lot of hoops to jump through, a lot of customization. That takes a lot of time. So we want to do away with all that and we want to make sure it's nice and simple to set up a new organization and get started with contact center. So Clayton, walk us through it. Let's uh, create a new instance of contact center. Sure. Go ahead and open a browser and uh, go to cc.landis.cloud. Um, on the login screen, you'll notice a link to uh, create a new organization. So we'll go ahead and click on the link, New Organization, and it'll prompt you to sign in uh, with a Microsoft account. So we'll go ahead and sign in uh, with a, a global administrator account, and uh, we'll go ahead and paste the credentials in here. and we'll sign in. First of all, you'll get a permissions uh, request. We'll go ahead and consent and select accept. And then you'll be prompted to enter uh, your contact center organization information. So we'll go ahead and select Contoso for the organization name and the same for the display name. We'll go ahead and uh, prove that we're not a robot and try to select all the traffic lights. And we'll try the crosswalks. And we'll go ahead and select Submit. So right now it's creating our contact center organization. Great, and not, not only creating a new organization, but also setting defaults, uh, default roles and settings so that you're not starting from scratch and it makes it very easy to go in, modify it for your own usage, and there you see it's done ready. Created a new contact center. That's correct. So next you'll see a link here to go ahead and log into your new contact center organization. Uh, we'll go ahead and sign in to our Contoso org. And now we're logging in Bingo. to our contact center portal. Uh, the next step here is to grant permissions for Landis Contact Center to interact with your team's environment. So we'll go ahead and select administration and settings and you'll see three different grant permissions buttons. We'll go ahead and select grant permissions on the first button and you'll see a list of permissions that it is requesting. We'll go ahead and click accept and You'll see the first one granted. We'll go ahead and select the second and accept those. And then we'll have the third button. We'll go ahead and grant permissions. And we'll grant on behalf of your organization on these permissions. Click accept. and the permissions granted are complete. Awesome, it really is that easy. So now we have a new contact center, now we're ready to start the settings, we're start to, uh, adding users to the organization, to the queues, the IVR, welcome messages and all that. So very easy to get started and we welcome you to create your own organization. This is something that you have access to. Reach out to us uh, at sales at landistechnologies.com and we can get you started with your own contact center. So thanks for showing that. Thanks Thank for you. watching. Let us know if you have any questions.